I got involved with students because um, I saw that it was something that movement was lacking and it was something that in my life personally was so impactful and um, so influential to so many of my life choices. I still talk to my youth leaders that, um, that mentored me from 7th to 12th grade and um, still talk to them about life choices and um, just ask for prayer for them and from them. Um, and so that was just something that I was looking for to have um, as a ministry opportunity in my church experience. Um, I see the value in investing in young lives um, and just being there for these kids in some of their most formative years and um, the years that they're asking questions that they might not be comfortable asking parents and just making friendships that hopefully will be lifelong um, and valuable and the types of relationships that are going to pour into them so that when they go out into the community and their own little worlds that they'll be able to have the opportunity to pour into other people the way that they've been poured into. For us, um, you know, Caleb was in middle school when when movement students started, right? And it's grown into this this great thing, right? We've got full-time ministry with Blake and what six or seven teachers, including Laura, who are there to lead the group and this steady stream of kids who are uh, you know coming every week. When it when it all started though, with like Sarah Nepper, Justin and Sarah Knutson, and most weeks it was only little Caleb who was there. And even like the second year, I think when you started, it was almost every week, it was just Caleb. He was the only one there. <laughs> and these people came anyway, right? Mm -hmm. They came every week, they spent time with him, they invested in him, you know, they were committed to him. And for parents, that's huge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to this day, Justin still talks to Caleb. You know, they still speak. They they would go to movies. They would go get something to eat. Just talk about life. And that kind of investment, them pouring into into our son was, was huge. And it's made a huge difference in his life. And that's the reason why he is still involved in it today. Yeah. And him being the youngest of six, it was, it was almost like, well, he never felt like he missed out on anything or gotten a neglected is the wrong word but you know we were always chasing the other ones at sports or events or something and he was just coming along and then to have that time that was just for him and to have adults just commit to him that was that was amazing so thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> the, the leaders really went above and beyond in that you know it was like I said sometimes it was going out for lunch or just talking about life you know the leaders went to Caleb's orchestra concerts mm -hmm. uh, to, to fill seats and just be there as a show of support and that's the kind of thing that he will remember and how to you know and how to relate to other people when he gets older and they took him laser yeah laser tag with some of his friends that weren't part of mm-hmm movement students so that yeah. was that I lost, was big. You <laughs> lost it. but he enjoyed that and being able to involve his friends with his youth mm -hmm. ministry of one <laughs> yeah we went from just having Caleb to now we average um, roughly 10 kids a week and when you put 10 kids and six adults in the basement of the church office it does get a little cramped um, and so I think part of growing in numbers is just going to be growing in space and just having the opportunity to have a space that they can call their own where they can um, feel at home where it's just the space that they can shoot some hoops or hang out with friends and just feel safe and secure in that and um, yeah just a place that numbers can actually grow um, and we're not so tightly squeezed into one little room. I, I envision things like breakout rooms where we can have small discipleship conversations um, and big rooms where worship can be loud and proud and um, just a place that kids can be kids in a safe um, environment where parents can come and look in and see what their kids are up to and see the excitement on their faces and see the learning and the growth and the development. Um, so I'm excited for space. I think the opportunity by bringing the students in and being close to where the students are, then the parents are going to be curious. What is this? You hope, right? You don't. <laughs> you know, there might be some that won't be, but you know, then we can also share what we have as as a church, as a movement group. You know, 
that experience we can move it forward. We can bless people with, obviously, Jesus, but the relationships that we can build for not just the students, but the whole family. We encourage our students every single Wednesday night to bring friends, bring friends, bring friends. And a lot of the excuses that we hear are things of like, oh, they can't get a ride, or oh, they don't, they forgot what time it was, or whatever. But um, I think that this will be a nice way to <laughs> remind the students that there's even less excuses to not invite friends, and um, maybe encourage them to be a little more proactive and, um, yeah, to have friends. And on Wednesday, Wednesdays put out a big sign in the, <laughs> yeah. the church yard since when they're all leaving school and they're gonna go, oh yeah. Yeah, very visible, very visible. Some good accountability.